if I could say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. I remember Z.A. as an irritant. This guy. Perché passo questo confine portando nel bagagliaio cose che non ti posso dire la mia vita è un film come al cinema Now turn out cold by me watch of the last month, the fourth spot held by the Hawks. And really the basketball. Nothing to change here. Anderson's checked in. The Hawks have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Checked in for Milwaukee. The Hawks have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. The free throw, no good. So he'll head to the free throw line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that was pretty clear. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. The Hawks shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. One of the things they've done, guys, is taken pride in their free throw shooting this season. And rightfully so. NYG. NYG. Good on both. 158 left to play in the first half. The three. And yes, sir, that one drops. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first. And that was pretty good. Polk loose. Passes it to Steele. The feed to Graham. Shot, no good. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Let's it go with a three. Another three for Atlanta. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to a three-point shot. And it's killing them. Four of the last five makes coming from long range. And the Bucks with possession here. And here we go. Love heading to the hoop. Here's Gilbert. That ball. And this is my love. Yes, they're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. And they may have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Here's Milton. And there's an all the power shot to the And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. And then Love with the jam. The rim right now. Just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. <laughs> That's straight up showtime stuff right there, baby. Major highlight reel material. Here's Gilbert, and he gets off the best press with a monster slam. Whoa, whoa. That'll wake you up. That's team athlete or what? No doubt about it. It's almost as if he lives in the air. And dunks like that have become quite commonplace. And so it's Milwaukee with it. They set the pick. Newton passes to Steele. Shot clock at five. Looking to end the run. And so he draws the foul on the shot on Jimmy the line to shoot two. For Milwaukee, they have been shooting 50% of the line, 5 of 10. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for McGuire. Here's Love. 
Spotted off in time. Buried from outside. But I don't know. I think we may see a review here. That was pretty close. And the teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if they got that shot off in time. And the NBA Replay Center in Secaucus is queuing it up. And, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. Yeah, that's how it looked to me. And that's the call we should see here. But no harm in going back to the foot. That's the good to make it out to the circus. And they've taken a look at it. And they've overturned the call. They've overturned the call. Uh, they're calling the basket good, Greg. Yeah, and that's why we have replay. I mean, to make sure the officials don't miss any calls. And really, a good job to take the second look at it. Would have been a shame if they'd been cheated out of those points. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. The Hawks on top, running away with this one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome, everyone. We'll be taking a look back at what was clearly a one-sided first half of action. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Atlanta was looking great right away. They staged a good old-fashioned ambush, going on an aggressive 9-0 run at the start. They came on extremely strong as the quarter was winding down, nailing all six of their last field goal attempts to close out the first. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Help them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? Well, it has been an electric performance. These guys were firing on all cylinders. They came out aggressive, going after those rebounds, and they were piling it up. I think they wanted to send a message with their physicality, and they're going to be nearly impossible to stop if they're playing that way. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. Well, the bottom line, they got to defend the three-point line much better. They were concentrating all their effort into protecting the paint, and these guys were standing behind the line. Yakum, yakum, splaka kataya, and that strategy backfired. Early. They gave up far too many open looks, and all those three killed them. And that'll do it for now, as the second half of our game is about to get underway. Kevin Harlan has the call, and that can't continue. I mean, if they hope to get back in this game. I mean, it's really deflating from a morale standpoint. They need stops and points, not turnovers. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth. Even on a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and power. Here's Gilbert. Another three for Atlanta. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. And the points are starting to add up in a hurry, especially when you're giving up those looks. Here's Grant. He has five. And Richmond with the stuff. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around, just straight to the rim. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. There's no chance, Kevin. I mean, the screen was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through it. And that's not legal. Here's Brink. Following the three by Atlanta. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Here's Milton. Another three for Atlanta. Dozen straight points coming off the trip. Yeah, Greg, you know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. Here's the break, and here they go. And it's tonight. And he it with authority. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Richmond outside. Off the run. And it's thrown with the rebound. That would have been lucky had it fallen. Four shots away. Yeah, look at the coach's face. The expression. It says all over it. Are you kidding me? Richmond outside. It's deflected. Unhindered. Going all the way. Another three for Atlanta. Well, they've been in the home run trot on defense, jogging back. And the 
it's cost them a number of times here. Yeah, listen, you can forgive a few transition points here and there, but, but not like this. They need to hustle back after every possession. Now here's Richmond. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials on the contact, and he'll shoot two. Milwaukee, they have made nine free throws in the game, 14 attempts. Yeah, really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. The Bucks making a change here. Anderson's checked in. So one for two that time with the strike. Dish now to Lock. Loses his grip and misses the dunk. And stolen by Love. And here we go. Love heading to the hoop. And he lays it straight in. You know, you guys, fast break points right now in their favor. And, and they're really pushing the tempo. And great defensively, you got to have better floor balance and commitment to hustling back. I mean, you got to sprint back. You can't jog back. Goes up, finishes the break with a slam. And really, once he got that steal, just really nothing the defense could do. That's why turnovers are so costly, because in many cases, they're indefensible once possession changes hands. Milwaukee with the ball. Last break here, here come the Hawks. Here's Milton, the best break ends at the rim with the jam. First ever throw down that. Same. Was nice, real nice. The agility on this book. Yeah, love that. How about again, the power again, and grace that's why they on that thing? Tries to save it. They have been extremely effective with their three point shooting this past month. Number five, the Hawks. Clearly, a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there, earned those free throws. Got a hammock for the swinging fresh tomatoes. One at the line is good. He doesn't get the second one. Shot up and down.